in reaction to her father's allegations that he was tricked into letting her transition by a woke mind virus. Elon Musk's trans daughter has posted an acerbic statement. 20-year-old Vivian Wilson responded to remarks made by her father earlier this week on the Exxon threading site Threads, which is owned by Mark Zuckerberg's Meta. In an interview, Musk claimed that in order to get her to go on puberty blockers, he was duped into signing away his son Xavier under Wilson's previous name. Musk declared that his son, Wilson, had been killed by the woke mind virus, referring to her by her birth name and using masculine pronouns. Wilson disputed her father's assertion that she was born gay and slightly autistic. In a tweet on Thursday, pushing back against this, Musk claimed to have known she was gay since he was a small boy, adding that she would pick out clothing for me to wear, like a jacket, and tell it was fabulous in addition to having a passion for musicals. Wilson stated, I want to start with what I find the funniest, which is the notorious slightly autistic tweet. There are several things that Wilson needs to refute. Please be patient with me as this will take some time. This is a complete fabrication. Really, none of this has ever occurred. At all. I have no idea where he found this. Wilson retaliated against his assertions that she had chosen her father's outfits by writing that she had never been a theater or musical enthusiast. I never chose the jackets he would wear, and I was definitely not calling them fabulous, because, really, what the f asterisk 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 dot. The woman stated dot I would want to emphasize once more why I did not use the word fabulous when I was four years old. Like, this is so obvious I don't even think it warrants explanation. I said to myself when I was four years old. But apparently people believe this nonsense so here I am. Wilson stated that since her father didn't spend much time with her when she was a child, he has made up these accusations. She alleges that because of her. Femininity and queerness. Musk would harass her nonstop. Furthermore, Vivian mentioned that her father was determined for attention and recognition and that she was officially acknowledged as a lady in the state of California. He's starving for attention and validation from an army of degenerate red pill decals and pick MES who are quick to give it to him, she said in a caustic conclusion. Touch some F asterisk 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 grass, please. She claimed to be doing well and to have been planning a reply for her father in a different video. The connection between the father and daughter has always been tense. Musk has labeled her a communist. Who believes that? Everyone rich is evil. Musk referred to the events that befell him and his family as evil in his interview last week, stating, I was essentially tricked into signing documents for one of my older boys. This was actually before I knew anything about it and there was a lot of uncertainty because COVID was in effect at the time. I was informed that Xavier might end his life, he said. It's incredibly evil and I agree with you that the people that are promoting this should go to prison. In response to a question regarding gender dysphoria. I did this after being duped. The fact that puberty blockers are essentially only sterilization medications was not disclosed to me. I basically lost my son. That's why it's referred to as dead naming. They refer to it as Denaming. Because, because your kid has passed away, my son Xavier has also passed away due to the woke mind virus. When people refer to transgender people by the name they used before they started to transition, it's known as dead naming. Musk claimed that this process and the deceit he says was used against him were the catalysts for his right wing awakening. After that, he declared, I vowed to destroy the woke mind virus and we're making some progress. The billionaire from South Africa is said to have fathered 12 children in the last 22 years, and he has openly expressed his belief that there are not enough people in the world. Three separate women, Canadian novelist Justine Wilson, Vivian's mother, musician Grimes, and his staffer Shervon Zeles, are the mothers of his children. In 2024, he had his youngest child with Zeles. In 2022, Wilson legally changed her name from Xavier to Vivian Jenna Wilson and her gender to female. She also said in court documents that she no longer wishes to be related to Musk. In any way, even though the court records weren't made public until the day after Father's Day, Vivian filed the petition only three days after turning 18. The night her daughter's petition was approved, Mother Justine posted a tweet in which she claimed, My 18-year-old told me that I had a weird childhood. It's unbelievable how normal I appear to be. I exclaimed. 
I'm proud of myself and I'm very proud of you. Before her filings were made public, Musk tweeted on Father's Day, saying, I love all my kids so much. She was a private person who wasn't seen in public for several months following the approval of her petition. At the age of 16, Vivian allegedly revealed her gender identification to her aunt over text message, pleading with her to conceal it from her father. Hey, I'm transgender, and my name is now Jenna. Keep it a secret from my dad. Musk stated that he can't win them all, even while his relationship with his daughter may change. I have very good relationships with all the other children. In a 2020 interview with the Financial Times, he admitted to his biographer more recently that he hasn't been able to win her over.